Hi, this is Vitaly Kupri. Welcome to my home. Um, let me introduce to you my beautiful Stanway and songs by far the best piano in the world. So I was very blessed and very fortunate to um, um, get one. Actually, uh, the story is that um, um, I was commissioned to write a, a, a piece for piano for the quartet that I'm in, and in exchange I would get this instrument, which is uh, absolutely phenomenal. It's the best of the best, so I'm really... That's the room where the whole magic is happening. So, um, okay. Uh, I will just uh, demonstrate to you a couple things, how I do it, what I do. Um, actually, a lot of people asking me um, on MySpace and, uh, you know, some also private emails that I get, um, how do I play, how, can, how I manage to play so fast? And it's, um, I always try to explain um, to people, it's not only about practicing endless hours every day. That's not the trick. That's a very important part of it. But the most important part of it to play fast is to think fast. It's a reflection of your mind. If you can think fast, if you can, in your mind, be ahead of the fingers, you can play fast. It's, so there's a connection. But of course, you got to start from uh, square one, which is uh, a typical VK's daily you know, routine uh, in warming up is um, some of those exercises that I do. For example, one of them is strengthening your fingers, uh, creating, uh, making your finger stronger and uh, generating a little bit more um, power, which you will need eventually. So let me show you one of them. And so on. So you go through the whole keyboard that way. But uh, that's pretty much for the, um, for the inner, inner fingers. And uh, by nature, we all were um, not quite blessed as far as fourth finger goes, you know. It's just a standard thing for everybody. We, we have a very weak fourth finger. So this exercise will improve that to a degree. Uh, chromatics are very common. In thirds. And of course, you know, ascending, descending, and country motion. That, that's also helpful. Um, inversions, arpeggios, you know, common stuff. One, three, one, six, three, one, six, four, basically root, third, fifth, and eighth. Those are important things too. Um, what I do usually before I uh, get into something very difficult, I also um, warm up with a uh, Bach five voices fugue, which is very unusual thing to do. Nobody does it. People think exercises, etudes, and all those things. But that's also to improve your alertness, to sharpen your uh, pitch, your, your ears. Um, it's not technically demanding, but it's very good. This is different forms of technique. This is for the control of the sound. And it's very, it requires a lot of um, fingertips work. And um, a lot, uh, with a very, very conscious mind. See, when people practice eight hours, um, it's impossible to, to stay focused the whole time. So I don't believe in that. What I believe is when you practice, you have to practice with a very conscious mind. That's where, that's the ticket right there. So um, this is the fugue. so on. 
Um, anyway, it sounds a little bit out of tune. Uh, I've been uh, abusing this poor Stanway preparing my uh, uh, trip to Israel and performing Brahms piano concerto number one. One of the most hardest piano concertos up there. So uh, it's a lot out of tune, but still beautiful sound. Anyway, let me play one of my favorite pieces. Actually, um, it's, it's my original uh, from the 12th month of the year album. And uh, there's a commercial DVD in works right now. So be on the lookout. It's very exciting. I'm very psyched. Uh, it's, I'm in the process of shooting it right now. So, but I play you one um, from this album. It's called 12th Month of the Year. It's about, it's about uh, my association with the nature. So basically, I wrote 12 pieces uh, that are representing 12 months of the year. So which is a, there's a connection. And um, um, let's see if you can pick up on that. This is a third month, uh, third month, uh, January, February, March. Yeah, that's right. Oh my God, I have a hangover, it's killing me anyway. So, um, still doing okay. Uh, my, uh, it's called um, Awakening. So. <laughs> Anyway, so uh, that's uh, March Awakening from Vitaly Kupri's new album, 12th month of the year. So if you uh, get a hold of it, please uh, get your copy.